Hello! This is Clutterbug's Craft Corner. Today is December 12th, but this will probably be 13th for you. Um, this is a channel where we talk about cross stitch, knitting, quilting, my goofy life, and adventures. And we'll also talk about my estate sale business here and there because I get lots of fun things to show you guys from my sales. And don't go away, don't go away, because I share it with you guys. I like to send stuff out to people too. So I wanted to go over some things today. Today might be kind of a longer show um, or chat. I may not go over the quilting bins like we usually do. I have two left in the house before I have to go to the storage unit to get any others. But I have so much to go over with you guys in cross stitch and haul and there I actually have a lot of cross stitching things to go over with you guys so I figured we'd start with that and see how time goes by um, thank you for subscribing of course and for liking videos my channel is getting out there really slowly but that's okay I'm gonna stay in for the long fight um, Sometimes it takes some time because the algorithm, blah, blah, whatever of YouTube, but I'm having fun and I'm meeting some awesome people. Um, so I'm going to continue on with this and see where we go. Um, this is going to be floss tube number six. And um, I have some whips. I have a lot of haul. Um, I got stitchy kindness already I have some stitchy is that what we call it stitchy kindness stitchy gifts I don't know but I'm ex so excited to show it to you that was really when you get something in the mail that you're not expecting it is such a warm feeling and a good surprise like if, if you're having a poop day and you get something in the mail like I did that'll just take you to another level of happiness I don't know why it's just they're just things but they're amazing things that somebody either took the time to make and they decided to give it to me so I'm really excited to show you what I got um, and this is why I do what I do with my state sale stuff and I want to give it to you guys because I, I tell you all the time it just feels so good to just give something to somebody um, I haven't given a lot away not for lack of trying because I'm putting the things out there for you guys just for the lack of you know interaction yet comments and stuff like that so we'll get the hang of it and we'll get there um anyway we're gonna start with uh, oh okay we'll start with this because it's my nemesis and I'd like to get it out of the way this here um I am working on this for a relative of mine for Christmas and I am giving up on this one not the pattern but the one that I started I this is the one that I told you guys I started like three times um, it's just kind of when I started in the beginning um, where I was still using masking tape and I don't know it's just not I'm not feeling it I'm not digging it I'm not sure I'm so close to I don't know maybe I'm halfway done but we're just gonna go with a bought gift this year um, and we'll get this ready for her for her maybe her birthday I did do some stitching on the um, the test that I'm doing um, I did a little bit of that of course cuz I have to I'm committed to that I'm going to finish it um, Amanda opened her shop already and she's getting good feedback and um, in all the notes that I wrote down I did not write down um, everything about her but it is called Hey Lady um, Creations she's an LLC and she has her own website um, she's on Facebook uh, her name is Amanda and um, I will make sure to link it in the description 
properly so that you guys can check her out. She's got a lot of her patterns up. She's got a lot of floss. Um, very comparable to other floss as far as pricing goes. Um, so you really, you should check her out. She's awesome. Um, anyway, this is, well, of course, I don't even have to look down. I'm sure it's Curdy, but we'll check anyway. Oh, it's not. It's Emily. She's making an appearance. What are you doing, Mama? That's mine. Okay. Cross-stitching cats. <laughs> okay. Scarecrow. Um, I started that one. That was the one that I'm just amazed that I actually am doing. I'm doing a 36 count. Mm, 36 or 32? 36. 36 count one strand over two. And, oh my gosh, this is my favorite way to stitch. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, the lighting is doing something funny. Of course, I'm always doing this at night because that's the only chance I get. But I did, I sh when I showed it to you last, I had a lot of this part done. I just added, I think I just added this here so far. Um, not a lot more done with that. Um, and then the third thing I have is a pattern that I got online. My daughter wanted it. I actually wanted to make it for a friend of hers because he's got a very chunky kitty and we goof around about her all the time. And then I found this and it's the, I'll show you really quick. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't, it's, I don't have just the picture of it, but it's brother. May I have some loops and it's just a big kitty with some fruity loops around the outside of it. So I started that one. I am doing that on a basic 14 with two threads over over one. I think this is the way it goes. So I got this far so far. It's a little strange because the colors they chose for the kitty are kind of purplish, but I'm going to keep going with it because that's what it called for. So we'll see. But she wanted it. It'll be fun. But I did a lot on that because it just stitches up so quickly. So I needed something to, I needed something with a lot of color in one place because I, everything I've been doing has confetti or a lot of changes into half stitches from full stitches and I needed a break. So those are the cross stitch patterns that I've been working on. That's it as far as what I'm working on. And of course I have no finishes because I just, I don't know when I'll ever have a finish. I can show you finish. I showed you some finishes that I finished last year, but this year I have zero finishes that I can think of. They're all in progress. So 24 might be fruitful with some finishes. We shall see. Um, although when I show you my haul, we might just have a lot more whips. Um, what else did I want to show? Oh, I showed you guys one time that I was going to make a magnet out of this uh, socket pop. <laughs> pop socket? What do you call You know, the thing that you put on the back of your phone um, to hold your phone. That's what this was. And then I put, I glued a magnet on it. And um, we were going to see, I wanted to check and see if it worked. So it does stick. And yeah, it works. Yay! I have a whole bunch of things like this I want to do. So I get broken jewelry at my estate sales like all the time. We have lots of like costume jewelry, broken jewelry. So we'll find like little brooches or, uh, you know, a, a big, um, pendant type charm and they're broken. And I'm like, I could put magnets on these. There's one that has a little daisy on it. It's so pretty. I want to try it with that. Um, it's a lot of fun. And, uh, if you all ever do stuff with 
costume jewelry. I know some people like to take old jewelry and make n new things out of it. Um, if you guys ever, there's ever anything you want for your crafting and you have a hard time finding stuff, shoot me a message, let me know. I will send it to you. All you have to pay is your shipping. Like if I have a clump of jewelry and you want it, you can have it. Just pay the shipping, whatever the shipping is. Um, no worries. I get I get so many things. I have oh so many things. Loop. I, there's just a lot. You'll see. Because when we do a video one time, um, <clears throat> as soon as it gets warmer out with all that um, quilting material and the cross stitch books and all the different stuff I have um, in the storage unit, I think I'm up to like three sewing machines in there. I do want to get them checked out. I'm not going to locally even sell a, a sewing machine without making sure it's working first. I know a couple of them need some work, but I have some really cool things in the storage unit. So eventually we'll do a video to show you all that stuff and then um, some of it I'll give away and a lot of it I'll sell. I'm going to show you the stitchy kindness right now because that one to me was so sweet. Um, the first thing I got is from Kristen Nair. She said, thank you for your order. Um, I honestly, I didn't order, I don't remember ordering this, but she may be somebody from my ornament exchange on a Facebook um, group, but I didn't think the person's name was Kristen. I thought it started with a J, but I don't know. I'm a little confused, but either way, I think it is adorable. So thank you very much if you sent this just to be kind because I love moose. I think I might have mentioned it when I put up my Christmas tree. It's moose, mice, and outhouses. Ugh, that's just what I'm into. So he's just so cute. So thank you very much. That was from Kristen Nair. And then Rebecca, beautiful name, right? Um, Rebecca sent me, so I was excited. I opened up a package, right? I'm like, I, did I order something? I know I ordered something, but I, not where it was coming from. Then I saw the name on it and I knew who it was because she had, um, she's one of my first subscribers ever. So I correspond with her, um, often enough. She's really sweet. Um, but I, this was in there, what she sent me was in here and I'm like oh a bag I was so excited just about this bag but then when I opened the bag there was this bag look at this bag she made this bag and look at the inside it's just so beautiful then she's got hold, hold please then she's got these counting pins in there look at those I didn't know counting pins was a thing. I always use the needle that I'm working with when I have a long piece of uh, floss on it or I take the thread out and use the needle or another needle. This is a counting pin. I'm in love. And then there's the counting pin on this one. She matches them up. And then those are for these. So I have this one with the vinyl. Look at that. Beautiful stitching. And I absolutely love, I love this pattern. I love both, pat the other pattern too, but I have a blanket for my bed that looks a lot like this. Look at, I was very excited. I, it made my day. It really did. And I thank you so much. I really do. Thank you. Thank you. So we should talk about how, and I'm going to figure out how to do this because I have pictures that we took. Um, I went to, um, I'm in Illinois, in Minooka, Illinois, and I drove about an hour and 40 minutes to LaPorte, Indiana, to um, House of Stitches, and it's a, a cross-stitch shop there in LaPorte. Um I went there last Saturday. I have no days off from the last sale going into this next sale, which will not be completely done and the house empty until I think January 7th. But I said, you know, I'm going to give myself the one day. 
And the reason I gave myself the day and I decided to take a little road trip to Indiana was my car finally got fixed. Although now it's in the shop again for the same thing because it got me all the way to Indiana and back. And while I was pulling it in the driveway or into the garage, it did the same thing. So now it's at the dealer, but it'll be fine. Anyway, I was so excited to get my vehicle back. It was sunny out. It was kind of nice out. And Elizabeth Ann can stitch on one of her last um, floss tubes talked about how she's going to travel and she's going to go see her mother-in-law and she'll be at that shop. And I'm like, well, it's not that far and I would like to go on a little road trip. So I asked three of my friends, three, none of which craft, busy, in Tennessee, just plain don't want to go because it sounds like it's really boring. <laughs> so I went by myself. And um, I walked in. This place is huge. And it has everything. so Like all kinds of floss. Uh, oh gosh, she had off the top of my head at least six different types of floss. She, you know, satin and um, your DMC. She had the Weeks. She had um, all, just all of it sampler um she had a whole bunch of it and so many different patterns and i don't know the shop is just beautiful the people there that own it and work there are beautiful so sarah owns it and she's the newer owner she took over for the person that retired from the shop so um she's going to be doing fun um, and amazing things with this shop. So it's House of Stitches in LaPorte, Indiana, and Sarah owns it. And then her sidekick, Rachel, is just the cutest little bean ever um, and put up with all my jibber jabber while we were there. Uh, I got there. I was one of the first ones there in the morning. I met another woman there. Her name is Belinda, and um, she she must know Elizabeth as well because she brought her a couple gifts and they hugged and talked for a little bit. Um, and then Jenny came in. Jenny is from um, Needlework on the Go. She's newer to doing floss tubes like myself. Um, she's got a handful under her belt and um, she kind of goes back and forth between Indiana and Illinois. Um, so I had subscribed to her channel because what I'm doing, there's a lot of people out there. There's so many floss tubes out there and um, there are people that have like thousands of subscribers or 1,000 subscribers. Um, they're popular. They've been around for a little while. And then there's those of us that are pretty new and have just a handful. So I go around and I look for floss tubers that are in the boat that I'm in so we can kind of you know new floss tubers unite and I I go and I subscribe and I like their videos and I watch them to see what what they're talking about and what's going on so I had subscribed to Jenny's and then when I went to Indiana she walks in and I'm like oh, she looks familiar <laughs> so I realized that it was her so I got to talk to her um and she's really sweet, of course. And then Elizabeth came in and I I took her over for a little while because I just wanted to bend her ear about how floss tubes were. It was really sweet, a very, very sweet girl. And then we took some pictures and, um, and shopped, of course. So I am going to show you all the stuff I bought. I brought a chunk of my earnings from my um, sales and I said, this is how much I'm gonna give myself to spend because who knows the next time I'll be able to go to that store. And um, I was within $50 of my budget. I stayed under my budget within $50, which really made me want to go back and <laughs> find other things, but I did not. I controlled myself and I said, that's good enough for now. And um, I'll just put that towards the next time I go out. Um, did I forget anybody? I don't think so. So as soon as I figure it out, I will put the pictures on and show you those. And um, that was a lot of fun. That was a great day. I'm glad I, I took the time to go. 
Um, and how lucky is that, that my car gets all the way to Indiana, over an hour and a half away, comes home an hour and a half, and just decides to do whatever the hell this computer thing is doing while I'm pulling into the garage. It let me pull into the garage all the way where I could even close the door. So that was, if you're going to have something break down, at least it broke down that way. And I wasn't on the side of the road somewhere far away from home. So I was grateful for that. Um, I got myself, um, I told you there's a lot. There's just a lot. I, everybody did like some Black Friday shopping and stuff. Oops, I forgot I have the microphone there. I probably whacked it. Sorry. Let me put this on my lap. So I ordered, I opened it just now before I started filming so that I wouldn't make a lot of noise. So I honestly, I don't remember what I ordered, but this just all looks amazingly lovely. I think I've ordered these before when they first came out. They're the uh, floss the floss biddies, um, floss drops, 20 floss drops in spooky designs. Where am I? There we go. But it, me and Halloween, we get along very well. So I ordered another package of those. This stuff was all on sale. So I decided to help myself to Fat Quarter Shop and get some stuff. I got the blackboard 18 by 27 uh, 25 count Lugana because she's been talking about this and they got it in and of course stitching with the housewives um, all of their people are just gonna hog all this up <laughs> so I wanted to grab a piece um, because I want to do uh, something of my own making I feel like I want to make a mandala or something like it or like the ink circles you know how you get uh, the patterns of the ink circles I want to make something of my own similar to that um, I got something I never heard of percent percentia percentia America uh, colonial needle it's like a Halloween color pack never used this before uh, we'll see what we think of that. It's made in Spain, so we shall see. Invoice. I got some beautiful colors of classic color works. Fallen leaves, black coffee, sticks and twigs, pebble beach. I see some colors that I'm already repeating myself with because I bought them when I went to Indiana, but it's okay. We will use them. I don't have, I have a lot of DMC, like so much. I went through a bunch the other day again, and I have put them all in bags this time from, you know, just the 100s, 200s, 300s, so forth. Um, they're in bags like this big. They're all full of, some are on bobbins, some are loose. Some are still in their in their wrappers. Um, they're the ones that are from like four different eras. Um, some of the colors match each other, some don't. And I thought to myself, man, I have way too much of this. So I, I'm gonna go through it and I think I'm gonna gift some and maybe try to sell some of it um, for really cheap since it's already, you know, it has been somebody's, they already bobbinated it. Um, I'll keep some of that for, I want to try my hand at dyeing it. Um, so I'll use some of the older ones for that. And then I think I'll just make like three piles. Give away, keep to dye and then sell. And then of course I have some new ones that are separate from that, but yeah, I have too much floss, but I don't have enough of the, the, um, the you know, the, this kind of floss. The hand dyes. I like those. Um, I bought, oh, I want to try my hand at this because I've never made anything like this. So I got Manny Di Donna. It's from 2021. And it's Black Fantasy with an octagon sewing box. And a couple others. 
And then I have Flying Lesson from Silver Creek Samplers. Of course, I can't go without getting something witchy or Halloween type related items. Uh, I don't know when that's from. Could be new. I got that. I bought two bags. I have this one already, but I still I love this one, the sunflower zippered bag and the heart. It's got a heart on both sides, and you can you know cross stitch it. So I may cross stitch something on this guy. That'll be fun. And then for an order of a certain amount. They had so many of these to give away, so I got the Bonnie and Camille Quiltby book. Um, I did not open it, of course, yet, but let's see. It's easy to open. Oh, are you guys like... Christmas shopping or done Christmas shopping. I I am like bah humbug with Christmas this year. I think it's because I'm going to be so busy and we're having our family um, get together the 16th. I am not ready. I Everybody is going to get like gift cards and that's not normal for me. I, I like to give people things they love or something handmade. Sometimes I hand make something and then put the gift card in it. This year, I am I will just be so lucky just to grab the cards and get my butt over there. Um, and I, it's, it's just, it's going to be the new year before I blink. That makes me sad this year. I don't know if I'll book a sale that close to Christmas next year. It, it wasn't supposed to work out that way anyway. We were supposed to do it later in the year, but the house sold much more quickly than expected so she's like yeah we got to get out by this time so hmm. but i hope you guys are all excited about christmas let's see if i can find oh wow man it's pretty look at these books they just they always have the best pictures i've never followed a book i follow people on um, videos like Elizabeth Ann can stitch and um, the other oh boy there's another mother-daughter team that quilt they have podcast mm, I'm a horrible person I can't remember their name for the life of me um, but I, I watch people's uh, videos oh look here's the bee <laughs> that's cute um, there's just a whole bunch of shine on sampler quilt this is a great book it's beautiful and it's through the oh that's why it looks so familiar it's because it's it's so Emma um, that makes sense for all of the um, color combinations and the style I like that it, it reminds me of uh, Lori Holt's um, cross stitch stuff oh this is really pretty <clears throat> I like that starburst quilt oh and a rainbow baby quilt. oops oh lord sorry We'll see, I just knocked you off of the technical difficulties. There we go. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. This is something I got in the mail from the Addicted Stitcher. Um, It was cute. Came in a bag. She sent some um, a 
cool floss strap. Thank you for supporting my small business from Lori. And this is, it wants some Zweigart 32 count Belfast um, I got right there. Can't, I don't know if that's going fuzzy or not. I think it's okay. So that is Madam Fortune. I'm excited about that one. And then I got okay, so this is when I was telling you how I just I don't know if I'm getting things I shouldn't off of Etsy. These seem like they're made. Oh, do not use PDF or printed version of my patterns for reselling. It has that on there. That doesn't mean they didn't. It has a copyright. This is from Gothic Spirit Goods. Um, So I think this is an actual, uh, just a digital, like somebody made digital patterns. But this one here is Creepy Snowman. I know I'm strange. I, what can you say? Halloween and creepy things are for some of us and not all of us. There's so many of you out there that do beautiful work. Be oh my gosh, the, some of the samplers I see, they're just amazing. And I don't think I'll ever do a sampler. They look beautiful. Um, I might hang one in my home, like an old one, but I, I myself, I don't see myself ever doing it. The closest, I think I think in my haul from Indiana, you'll see the closest thing that I will get to as a sampler. Elizabeth said it was a sampler, so we're gonna call it a sampler. <laughs> but so that's Creepy Snowman. That's that's what I consider Christmas. Um, and then I have Halloween Witch Cat and Pumpkins. I got all of these because I had bought something from this person. And um, I got a coupon after Black Friday. And um, it's all these are all from the Etsy shop of... Um, where to go from gothic spirit goods this one is called witch's magic hat one um, I will not be doing it on a dark background um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet I do like the colors of this um, but I haven't decided exactly what fabric I'll use for that. I don't, I don't, I'm not digging the dark on dark like that. This is awesome because I have, uh, it's called an you know, ofrente is like when you have a setup for El Dia de los Muertos, um, which is after Halloween. Um, and I think it's like this, it's, the second really second and third I think they celebrate the first is all Saints days second is um, second and third is when they celebrate and you eat the ofrente you just put up like drinks food different things that you're you're just giving to your loved ones and celebrating them and um, so I have in my kitchen because my kitchen is Halloween all the time tastefully I think um, the cabinet that I have little things on um, they're just like little bottles or the uh, the mocajete is a the thing that you smash herbs in I, something in something it's called in English but I don't I don't know what it is can't think of what it is but anyway um, 
I have that on there and I have just other things like little bottles like if I have vitamins I'll put them in the ones you get at Michael's that say like poison on them or things like that but anyway so I want to hang this above that right around Halloween time I won't leave it up I don't think all the time but that one will be fun just to have up there for just like that, that week um, <clears throat> this one came from Allerton Embroidery. Yeah. And um, I live in Illinois, so going toward the north side of Chicago, when you drive on, I think, 94, you will see the old Morton Salt um, building. And so this was... I think she actually has a yellow raincoat and a blue umbrella on the building, but the fact that it just is a girl with the umbrella and says, stay salty. <laughs> That's right up my alley. I just thought it was funny. Um, the next couple are also from... I feel like I'm taking long, so I might edit some of these out and chop it up. I don't know. We'll see. This is Gothic Spirit Goods. This one's from this year, and it's the Botanical Moth. That one I do like on the dark fabric. Oh, I wonder if that piece I showed you is good enough for that. I may use that one. Hmm. If it's big enough, I'll use that for that. Or this, because I totally forgot I got this one. Oh, I have three. <laughs> I'm getting excited about things I bought. This, okay. This one is called Raven with Flowers. I love ravens and crows. And these three all match, so I'm wondering if my husband will agree to letting me put these in, in the living room. I ran out of room in other rooms, so we'll see. Because then this one is called Owl and Flowers. All the same designer. And they all match, and they're just beautiful. And I don't know how long this will take me to do forever. But I don't care. I am going to love it. Someday. Um, then we have... <clears throat> Mama Witch Cross Stitch Christmas Evening I just think that's so cute I like snowmen I like frogs I like fireplace I think that's adorable Oh, and then before I found those three, I found this one, and I got this here, the Raven Stained Glass. That one I might do someday in my life and put in my office. I have a feeling these are all going to be on a lower count, Ada, like, and when I say lower, probably in the 20s maybe even 18 because there's going to be a lot of colors it's going to be full coverage um there will likely be some confetti going on and i'm finding that if i do it on the 20 18 to 20 something count the lower 20 count ada then it won't take as long um you know it might take a year instead of two years <laughs> however long it takes okay and then i have this is from pandora cross stitch which is on etsy um and then they give you a qr code to share your finished work and this one is gargoyle my son likes gargoyles so and one of my aunts 
Um, so I will do that one. And then this one is for me because it is, it's also by Pandora Cross Stitch from Etsy. And it's the Cemetery. Blah, blah colors, but man, I really like it. Not sure what color fabric I'll put this on. It might be a lighter fabric. There's a fabric that has a moon on it already. So, I don't know. I might visit an idea with that and just put the rest, you know, put all of the, the gate and all that stuff, the bats on it. Or do the whole thing and just pick a, we'll see what color we end up with. Who knows when I'll get to this. I have no idea. But they were on, I got a, I got a really good coupon. It was like 70% off, I think. And that's what kind of threw me on some of these. Like, you gave me that good of a deal. So, I felt like either they're trying to promote business, which is great. Um, it seems like they're legit patterns. I'm still, I'm learning how to figure out the difference. Because I really don't want to be one of those people that just buy you know, pirated patterns. I'm not interested in that. People put a lot of time and effort into making their patterns and they should get compensated for it. I know I can't make patterns. I, I rely on them heavily to make me beautiful patterns. Okay, then, how are we doing? Okay. We're at like 40 minutes. Does anybody need a potty break? Um, because I have a whole bag, two bags full from Indiana that I got at the uh, House of Stitches. And, and then I have some other things to show you. I'm deciding, you know what, I think, let me take a break for a second. I'm going to put together the stuff from the estate sale and I'll show you that real quick. Um, a lot of it will be cross stitch related. Uh, we'll go through that quickly and then I'll show you the stuff I got from House of Stitches. So give me a second. Actually, I'm just gonna leave you rolling and then I will, um, I will sort it and then edit it if I need to. This is from the estate sale that I'm doing coming up. Um, I, w I might even put it back in the sale, I just, saw it and wanted to show you guys this I thought it was really cool I have no idea how old it is it is stapled to you know some one buys um, but that doesn't mean it's not old it looks old enough how old? I have, don't have a clue. Um, and that's the back. <laughs> I just thought it was neat. And it doesn't look like it was finished it is the biggest thing. It's not, there's a lot that's not finished. So I thought I'd just show it to you. Like these are all kinds of things that I find at my sales. Um, I will not be finishing that, but I thought it was neat. Um, I got, uh, I got a couple little things of floss I found laying around. I have a thing about tape measures. This one is a butterfly. Looks like it's about the seventies. It's pretty neat. I keep doing that to the microphone, like crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Sorry. We'll learn. This is like an advertisement. So I guess they used to do a lot of ads on things like keychains and different things. This is also another, looks dangerous, it's metal. I'd probably cut myself on it, but I thought it was neat. And it's... Uh, Ah, whatever. 
it's hard to see it's even hard to see but it's it's just says Russ Reagan American pad and paper so there's that then this is so cute it's kind of coming apart but it's a keychain and it's cross stitched little bag and it opens uh -huh. oh, it's so cute it's kind of getting torn up but I thought that was cute and of course I put it all in this little cigar box with no lid but I'm a weirdo and I like things like this old boxes and stuff like that so I got that um, I found this postcard and I got uh, just an old zipper for when I make bags and I got another cigar box that I've you know I've been doing this for a while I have not seen this one before um, I've not seen this cigar box before it looks like when um, it can't be terribly old because it does have a, a barcode an older barcode so not that old but it's in good shape and I like it and it had just a fun little spool in it why can't I get this to Wilco it's from Wilco and then I found these um, they feel like bone I don't think they're ivory I think they're I don't know I think they're bone but it's uh, the tiniest crochet hook ever it is like gotta be negative zero <laughs> and then this if any of you knows what these are exactly I am not clear why do I keep I need to remember to come over here but there's these things here not exactly sure what they are there's a hole in that one in the middle one to me they look like for gauging and then I have an old Bernat met, uh, metal thread metallic thread shiny metallic thread And then there's this. Somebody knows what this is. I do not. I, I thought of a threader, but I just don't see how that is possible. And then it ha I don't know if you could see this little thing that pops out right there, the little needle. I don't. I don't know what it is. It's made in Italy. That's all it says. Elite. And then a couple little bells, just little brass bells, and another tape measure, old tape measure made in Japan. It's kind of cloth. Um, I had a bunch of these. And if anybody's, it, there's a whole bunch that are, I believe these are all the same, and they're still in their packaging so if anybody is interested in these let me know I will send you these I think it's this one here oh, oh paper came out it is this one here it's the same on both sides reliance needle book nickel plated rust proof 115 assorted needles with threader um, if anybody likes to collect these and you don't have this one already let me know because I just found a pile of them at my sale so I'll keep one and I will there's I don't even know it looks like a dozen of these all nice new in the package which is odd I you don't see that all the time because a lot of times I find them and they're out of the package lots of needles are missing out of them and they're um, you know ripped like this one's a little ripped 
but there's this one as well 100 gold eye needles with threader rust proof Japan these are all from Japan made in Japan and then there's this here a century of progress and it's about the World's Fair Chicago's World's Fair that one is cool I'll keep that one it has the shed aquarium on there and some needles some stuff's missing out of it but that's okay I just pretty much want it for the card so I have those I always like finding those I have others too I don't know where I put them right now but there's there's a few others uh, we got some floss just a bag of random floss because we all know I need more floss. And then I got a bunch of hoops where, I don't know, I don't really use these, but I do, I do like these. I do like those, I do use those. So there were two of those in there, that was exciting. And then there are some Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. These, though, I thought would be fun. Um, there's a couple here for a giveaway. Um, this one is, these are older. These, this guy here and this guy here. These are older. So there's a Halloween one and a Christmas one. 1994. That you can put on waist and do on shirts. I don't think you have to do that though. You can put it on whatever you want, right? Those are cute. And then um, Christmas fingertips. Some of you still like those things. Not for me. Um, the Prairie Schooler. This one was cool to find in there. Um, this one's from 93. I'll, be, I'll give that one away. This one is Frosty the Snowman from 94. I don't even know. I may have this one already in my giveaway stuff. I I get the duplicates sometimes and don't know it because they're not ones that I would keep. So I just I show them and then I put them in the storage unit for a later day. This is kind of cool. It's a Lucilla. Is that how you say that? Lucilla. Silk ribbon embroidery. I've not done that and I never will. But I thought it was interesting. So you do the cross stitch and then you do some silk. It has silk ribbon on it. Christmas wreath, it's called. Peace and joy. I don't know what year that's from. My guess is early 90s. But that one is another one I'll, I'll give up. It's not for me. Um, so that was the fun stuff from estate sale. And then I will show you the stuff I got from House of Stitches. Oh, it's going to be a little messy because... Sarah, the owner, she is so helpful. She, she wasn't that busy at the time that I, because I stayed longer than everybody else. So she was able to walk around and help me get the fabric for each chart and show me, you know, point me in the direction of the um, cloths that I needed. Oh, and this is, I don't know how many of you are out that way, but quick plug for Michelle Rogers. She is a finisher and she has a, she does, uh, she calls her place My Finishing Touch and she does, she's a, a finishing, uh, cross stitch finishing service and um, she'll do, here's the back of her card. I'll just show that to you. Hopefully it's coming through okay. 
and there's the front. Why do I feel like it's blurry? I'm not that blurry, so why is this that blurry? I think it's just my lighting for tonight. I apologize. I'll add this to the um, description. I'll put that in the description. But um, somebody came in with a uh, finish to drop off and then they were picking one up and we saw it and it was really, really cute how she finished this pillow for this lady. Um, okay. They gave me a cute little free pattern. Um, I got more. I don't know. I don't think I have the postman. I just think I've seen him before. And of course, I've told you about my fascination with these the Cottage Garden series um, that I, I keep buying them separately I, that I didn't even know that I had a group of them. So now I'm up to, I think, five and six. So this is the Postman. And then this one is the, gar the Gardener. Hmm. There you go. Hehe. <laughs> I like those. So I got that. I got When Witches Go Riding. This is from Country Stitches Online. This is newer to me. All my stuff is usually really old because I get it from estate sales and stuff, but this is this is newer. So it has three little pillows to make. I should take it out. I, sorry. I'll take them out and then I'll put them back in later. That way you can see them without all the glare. That's cute. And I found a bowl of a wood bowl shaped much like this at my estate sale. So I'll be excited to try to make those and put those in there. I have the blue flower, which we were picking out fabric for this, and she's like, oh, this one would go good with the blue flower. And I'm like, Sarah, what the hell blue flower are you talking about? There's no blue flower in that. Those are not blue. <laughs> the blue flower. Yeah. I'm okay. Seasons of the Heart Autumn by Jeanine McGowan. Of course I love that. I did not even know that there were hedgehogs on here. There's hedgehogs on here. I love hedgehogs. Um, sunflower needle case. I've never made myself a needle case, so this will be, this is older, this is 2009, but um, th I think this was the one, one little clearance thing I found that Everything else was not clearance, but I did get one little clearance thing. That's probably why I didn't spend the 50 more bucks. <laughs> um, this, oh, it says sampler on it, so I guess really it is, but it's called Alpha Boo Homespun Elegance by Sandra Sullivan. And it was made in 2012. Can you see that? ish what if I move nope that makes it worse okay we'll just stop moving things um but this is as close to a sampler as I'll probably ever get that's what I say I'm sticking to that okay I can't get that out it's sealed but it's on 30 count mink hand dyed linen. So I'll show you some of the, when I start doing them, I'll show you, I mean, I'll show you that the fabric that I got now, but I, I, I kitted it up at the store, but I didn't put them together. So right now I'm just showing you the patterns that I got. This is called Stitching Nut and Proud of It from 2008. I, this was a last minute buy because it was already done up on the wall as I was standing at the cash register and I thought, okay, I need that. Because 
right? That's me. That's us. That's you. I thought I had this one, but maybe not. Oh, so I bought, I wanted this because this was also, it was near that, that one that I just showed you. So this is from 2021 gathering clover. So luminous fiber arts, right? They have, these are all Misty Purcell and I fell in love with this. So I'm like, okay, I have to have that. I don't think I'll do a pillow. I'll probably put it on the wall in the kitchen. And I picked the green um, a little bit. I, I changed the color because this one calls for a silk. Um, it was a beautiful silk. I pulled the color that it calls for. And then I, this happened, what I'm going to show you next. I'm like, oh, I don't want silk for all of these. Um, so I got this one and then a woman came in while we were pulling my fabric and she sat down and she started talking to us and she had to pick out a frame cause she was getting her work framed and it, it was, be her work was just beautiful. Like I wish I could cross stitch like so many of you. I, I am not that good at it. Um, so she saw this and she said, oh yeah, I love this one. She's like, there's more. And I'm like, you just sit down in that chair and mind your own business is what I told her <laughs> because she made me. So then Sarah's like, oh yeah. And she gets up and she finds me three more and there's probably more of them, but these are the, the three extras she had. And I swear I saw this one before. So I don't know if I have this one or I kind of looked around to see if I have it. I didn't see it anywhere, but so I got this guy. So I pulled, I did not pull, I pulled my own colors for these. I, I got, um, you know, the hand dyed floss. I don't remember which ones I got. I'll show you, but I did pull floss, but not, I pulled cotton, not satin. So I got this guy and then I got this one because I also, I love squirrels. Oh my God. I'm so excited about these. And then I love strawberries. Oh my God. And I have, one day I will show you all the buttons I have at another sale. This, um, the son of the woman that I was doing her downsizing sale for, he worked at a button factory one day of the sale left. And he said, um, why don't you guys take those buttons before somebody buys them? I would like you to have them because he knew that a couple of us were crafty and liked all the crafts. So it is a, uh, there's a few thousand buttons in there, like a lot of buttons. And my daughter and I sat and sorted some of them and there's still like halfway to go and sorting. We're putting them in baggies and just sorting them. I forgot how, if it was by color or one hole, two hole, four hole kind of deal. But um, I'm going to have tons of buttons to let go of. So, um, and of course I'm bringing up the buttons because these guys will all take buttons and I will use buttons from that stash. These are all 76 by 76 and um, they, they're they on 32 count and I feel like I we chose we chose fabric for it and I believe they're 32 count not these specific ones that they chose. I think we chose some different ones but here's all the linen linen and and threads okay we're almost done I got I got a few of these on clean these were in like the remnants bin and she had them like half off so I grabbed a couple of those and then I got um, I thought this would be fun. So I grabbed, who knows? I've never done something like this before. So I could be talking out of my woohoo. Um, but I got these strips and I had the idea 
to seam the strips together, like, you know, I'll seam them. And then where the seam lies, I will stitch like a pattern lines over the seams and then put things in the boxes of the seam. I don't know. That was just an idea I had to have different fabric like this together or the red and make it real cuckoo crazy. I don't know. That or I just bought this and I will make really little things with it. But that was fun. She has a whole basket full of just NP, you know, remnants, and they're super cheap. Like this was a dollar something because they were half off. This was two something for this piece here. And I mean, you could get, you can put a family name on there with some little doodads. You, you, there's room here to do stuff, you know, or a nice long word here. Okay. That is the remnants, and then oh, these are okay. These are these don't belong to any of the patterns I bought because we were also talking about how she has some local fabric dyers in close to Laporte. Either one is in Laporte, or they're really close. They're there's two uh, dyers that work together, and they're called um, We Will Die For You, D-Y-E, We Will Die For You, and they dye all their own fabric, and this one was 40 count cashmere, it's a fat eighth, and that's what this looks like. I hope it comes across to you. You cannot see, it almost looks like a very light mint green color with some grays in it. You, I, I, you're not, I don't think you're gonna see the color with my lighting, but you can see how the dye comes out. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's soft, I like that. Not too soft soft and then this one is called ash it's also a fat a 32 count and with all my Halloween -y stuff I do I mean there's no way I could had I couldn't pass that up you almost don't want to stitch on it because you just want to frame it and look at it like it's so pretty but that's me I'm a weirdo I like I like stuff like this I love just looking at the patterns and I can make, the, you know, how you're, you matrix things and you see things like I see a face in it or a, a bug or whatever, animals. Um, but those two I'll use in future projects. Um, these are 40 count. This might be my first time I actually have vintage country mocha. I may have bought one from Fat Quarter Shop back a while and not used it yet, but I'm like, wow, finally, because they talk about this all the time. Everybody uses this vintage country mocha. Um, this is for my, she even labels it for you. She labeled it for me to tell me which ones it's going to. So this is for the, um, the Witches Go Riding. So that was for that three hello um, for this one so we're gonna do this on on that there it called for 40 count so I got 40 count I also I didn't know that you could uh, the vintage country mocha you don't have to use the the marbled or whatever you want to call it side you it, you could use the the blank side. I didn't know that because it is a the way that it's dyed. Um, okay. And then this one is for this is a 28 count Lugana ash gray for the stitching nut. I chose to do 
this would have gone a lot smoother if I did this before I started filming but I'm going to use this gray instead of this here and that's because I also did not use the wild it calls for wildflowers one strand over two threads I didn't want that I just want um, I may have picked weeks uh, dye works or mm -mm, I'll show you what I got I don't remember wait maybe I did wait hold on a second I'm lying lies lies I did get wildflowers I decided to get it but I chose my own color in it and I got these here let go so I got that and what I, I picked was burnt toast and peacock nope lies again that is what it calls for I, I <laughs> okay maybe I decided to go with what it calls for on the floss because it just looks so cute and I didn't want to change it and it comes with a little charm but I did change the fabric but I we put it up against here and I think it looks okay I think it'll it'll be just fine on this fabric I wasn't too down with the the really light whitish fabric okay then I have um, sandstone Lugana this is for gathering birds and acorns um, it is similar to the one that I showed you that is minty but mm, it's not exactly it's a little it's a little less it's a little less minty it's more of a grayish um, wow it's really hard to show you the color here I guess it is beautiful you have to take my word for it and then I got this one which is Queen Anne's lace it's a is that Jobelin 32 count and this is for the um, clover and the snowflakes mm -hmm. I got these here there it's ever so slight that you will see a color on it and without my bright light over there it would show up the little bit of darker spots that you see on it would be um, it has very light little greenish tones I think like an almost bluish green that will go good with the um, with these two so that's what I chose for that and the other one I think would go it was gonna go well with the other two and then I have a this is Stitches and Spice, Australian hand dyed fabric and threads. Camo Fudge, 25 count cash shell. And no, it's cash, it's 28 count. It's 28 count. And this is for the Alpha Boo. This one is for Alpha Boo. And then I will show these again, of course, when I go to, oh, what I did was I bought, I bought a big piece is what I did. I bought the whole, what I buy? Is this a fat quarter? I don't know we cut that piece out of this piece but I have zero dark fabric like this zero I just don't stitch on dark fabric and I thought this was a really good color and it's soft it, it feels I don't know it's 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 lovely and it's um, 28 count I may try my hand at in hand again and then get mad at myself because my tension sucks but um, I, I really like this, so I figured I'll, I'll get the whole thing 
and then um, just save this for other other pieces that I could use dark all of the fabric I have is lighter fabric or colored fabric none of it is like that that dark I just I don't know why I don't have any and so I I decided to go ahead and make sure I have some then the colors these are all the colors I bought I'll just show them to you like quick fast when I go to kit these up and put them in their bags and start them out I will definitely show you them the way you guys show them where you put the floss with the fabric and the pattern together but look at all of this beautiful beautiful thread all this floss so I have classic color works Classic color works. I have we have eggshell, we have hickory sticks. Some of these I might have a couple of, but I I probably oh yeah, see fallen leaves I saw in that bag. And then this one is colonial rose, one of the ones that I picked called for this colonial rose. Not a color I would use on my own. It's kind of a dull pinkish color, but Whatever pattern I picked that called for it, it, it looked right for it. So <clears throat> I got it. Then we have, this is the color that I picked for, actually I think I picked two and I wasn't sure which one I was going to use. The Gentle Art uh, Pine. I don't know if I'm going to use this color or the Steam Broccoli for the, um, the bird, the clover this is probably closer to it so I may use that one um, so I did buy a couple to decide like I did that for the snowman one I did that too I got distressed denim from sampler threads and then I got simply shaker freedom and I will decide and in here they don't look very different from each other at all but maybe this one is a little brighter blue um, so I will choose one of those for the snowman and then these are I chose three different ones for my squirrel one because I I don't know why I did that I chose chrysanthemum and sweet potato from Weeks Dye Works and then um, sampler threads the copper gentle art copper so I will pick one of these three I will use one of those three for the squirrel pumpkin one. And then the strawberry bird one, I went with uh, either geranium from Simply Shaker, sample thread, sampler threads, gentle art. Which one is it? Huh. Yeah, gentle art. And Weeks Dye Works Turkish Red. I have a feeling I want to go with Turkish Red because it's bold. But I want to make sure that it doesn't look too Christmas with the green that I chose for the clover. Um, because I'm likely going to hang them. I haven't decided. I'm going to make them separate. I'm not putting them on one. I, you saw that I had them se uh, cut separate like this. And then I will... Um, probably line them up in a frame or put them in four. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I want the option to change them around. Like sometime I might want them in a elongated frame, uh, vertically placed or, or in a square. Um, or maybe even all just horizontal. I don't know. I want to change it around and do what I want. Um, okay. And then these are all the floss that I pulled for whatever else it called other things called for these flosses these colors some of the other patterns I picked dry time these are sampler threads the gentle arts sampler threads okay so dry time so pretty flax which is like a very light gold sugar plum and pumpkin patch and then there's sarsaparilla and heirloom gold 
I like sarsaparilla. And then in Weeks Dye Works, I picked Onyx. Eee, this is not easy to do, guys. Let's see. You can't see. Onyx. We have Charcoal. We have Aztec Red. Olive. Clockwork. Whiskey. I feel like I have that one somewhere for something. Uh, Pamlico. What is that? Pamlico? Swamp water. <laughs> I like that. But those are the other colors. All these colors. They're just so beautiful. I mean, look at. You can just make something with just these all these colors right here. They're so pretty. Then I got um, E940. It glows. Rachel got me that one. She told me. We have glow in the dark thread. I got the last one too. Um, that's exciting. I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but I wanted to have that just, just for fun to play around with or see if I'll put it on any of my other projects I'm doing. Okay, that was all the haul from House of Stitches in Indiana. Her website is under construction. Um, why? Why does the light keep doing that? It's not very nice. Um, but like I said, she's in LaPorte, Indiana. And, um, she's on Facebook, she's on Instagram, and that's my new favorite store. I do have a store called Tomorrow Heirloom, Tomorrow's Heirlooms in, um, Glen Ellen. Um, it's about just over an hour from me, maybe about an hour from me. Um, truthfully, I enjoyed going to House of Stitches. Um, the people there were amazing and the, the store is bigger, so they have a lot more room for, um, more choices of floss brands and, um, their fabric. They have a lot more fabric, um, and pattern. I mean, they just have a lot more of all of it. Um, I'm sure I'll still go to both, but if for the difference of a half hour or so I would not mind taking the trip out and plus I just for me I just have to take one expressway straight there and then it's like a few minutes off of the the main expressway that I would take whereas if I went to the one here in Illinois I it's a lot of traffic I have to fight to get to it because it's a very populated spot and the way that I have to get to it is poopy so, um, yeah, I enjoyed going there and, um, and meeting the girls. That was great to meet people, other stitchers. I have none. I have no stitchy friends. I had three people that I asked and none of them are stitchy friends. They don't craft. Um, so to f meet other stitchers, that was awesome. And like, through this, through doing this floss tube, I've, you know, met a couple of you out there and we correspond with each other here and there. And I love it. I, it's awesome. I get to actually talk about what I love to someone without them looking at me like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Why are you talking about this? So I appreciate you guys so much for listening to me. Oops. Babble and go on and share all my fun. Um, I have, I have two, I have two knitting things that I will show you. I know we're over an hour and 20 minutes, but, um, I do want to show my two knitting things. We're not going to do the, the quilt stuff tonight. I know a lot of you are very sad about that. <laughs> um, I will get to it. Um, I do want to show you this because I'm excited that I'm getting this far. Um, I, that's why I haven't gotten as much done in my cross stitching is because 
I am already at, these are the socks that I had to take apart and redo because I was very unhappy with what the heck I was doing. Um, I am sticking to the two at a time on one needle. Um, toe up, that's my favorite way to do a sock. Um, but I am at the heel. Y'all, I'm at the heel. Here's where my little heel goes. And then now I am, I did the heel turns and now I'm ready to start adding stitches back in here to make the gussets. Um, and then it'll just be the leg of the, um, whoops, I just lost all my yarn ball. Um, and I think these are coming out great. I can't wait to wear them. Um, they're very, very comfortable. And I haven't made too many mistakes. The only thing I, like I said once before, and it's not a mistake, it's what it calls for is the eight stitches, 16, eight and eight for your uh, magic loop. But I prefer 10 to 12 when I do a toe up sock because uh, I like my toe a little rounder and wider here I don't like it to be too pointy but hopefully these will be done soon I'm excited about that and this I don't know if I ever showed you this is the book I actually got them out of I think I bought this book at um we, cut, we have a place called half price books which I don't like giving them my books they give me like 10 cents for a book and then they turn around and sell it for 12 14 dollars but I, do, I don't mind buying them there. They do get a lot of knitting uh, books. And then, nope, that's the socks. The, this is the sweater that I started because Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch has started her own. She has floss tube and she has tutorial videos on quilting bags, blankets, other things. Um, now she's decided to start doing some knitting um, videos and everybody's loving it there's a lot of us that are loving it I, she made an awesome vest for um, Thanksgiving she, it was beautiful the color was beautiful um, and then she's made a couple like a striped one that was really nice so now she's got me really wanting to do sweaters again and so I did, I showed you guys this one before. I'm doing tillage sweater. I got it out of a book and I printed the paper. So I don't, I didn't print the full paper, but this is the sweater. We talked about the sleeves. We talked about how it's bottom up and how I'm not a fan of bottom up, but I will, I will get through it. And it'll be beautiful so this is how far I am so I actually got more of the cables done these cables aren't so bad they're actually quite fun and if you make a mistake with this cable you will see it right away so there's no like doing a whole bunch of them and then having to tink a whole bunch of stuff like you will see it right away because the cables are only really at the top, the the top, the top and the bottom here where they go, you know, in on each other here and in on each other here. Those are the only crosses, and it's it's super, it's super easy. So I'm loving it. I love the merino wool, and I'm hoping this sweater is not ginormous because I have a bad habit of thinking I need the really bigger 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 size and then I put it on and it drapes way too much but I, I don't think so I think this should be okay so that is that those are the two things that I'm knitting and I don't know there's a lot going on and we have holidays coming up and like I said I am so busy with the sale the sale I'm I don't know how you guys feel about hearing about me go on about my sales, but I have to do this sale in three different legs as far as I'm doing 
hey, come on in and make an appointment and you can buy things while I'm setting up. Then this coming weekend, we're going to do just Friday and Sunday because Saturday I have something with my family. And then the next weekend, which is Christmas, we're going to do like the few days right before Christmas. I'll throw in two days there, all the while letting people come while we're setting up. We have most of the first floor set up. There's stuff in the attic. I don't want people up in the attic, so we have to bring all that stuff down and find a home for it. And the basement is just full like full there's like six old apple computers down there i'm sure i'm gonna sell them i'm sure somebody wants these antique apple computers that probably still turn on this guy was uh, a photographer and a videographer and he was into all kinds of filming of different things so there's all just all kinds of electronics down there um and they also owned their own, I don't know if they had an auction, if they they were auctioneers or if they just had a shop or, or a few booths or a flea market. I'm not sure if they did it all. I don't, I don't know. But with their records and everything, they kept track of all the stuff they bought and sold. And their house is full of antiques and vintage things and just some cool stuff I haven't seen in a long time. Um really cute pieces of little furniture um there's just so much so there's no way that we're going to be ready to do this sale the way we usually do it which is over one full weekend we can't do it that way we we're gonna have to chunk it up and just have people shop the first floor and then the next week we'll let them do the basement because it's it's too much it's just too much so i'm gonna be pretty busy i'll probably be cranky um so I don't know when the next time I will see you is. I may throw on a couple, uh, you know, like I think this was floss tube number six. So we'll do a 6.1, a 6.2, where I'll go on for five minutes and just go, ah, and, and tell you this is how far I got on this. But they won't be actual floss tube number seven because they'll be so short. Um... I feel like that was everything. I kind of just spit it all out as usual. So I mentioned everybody I wanted to mention and I will put them all in the description and I'll put up a few pictures as soon as I figure out how to do that. I'm hoping to put this video up on the 13th. Today's the 12th. Um, if by chance I do not get to visit before Christmas happens, please have a very happy holiday whatever you're doing those of you who don't go out and celebrate with a bunch of family or you have a smaller family or stay home and just do your own thing know that I'm thinking about all of you I think about everybody during the holidays and what they're doing and and how it's going um, for this crazy time in this next couple of weeks um before you know it it's it'll be january and we'll be talking about what we're gonna do for spring and people's booking retreats and talking about spring retreats and summer retreats it goes by so fast but um i will try to to come on and see you guys a couple times before christmas but if not have yourself a really happy holiday and thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and to like. Um, if any of you who go back and watch the videos that I did the giveaways on and you heard your name, I still have those giveaways and you're welcome to contact me and I will send them out to you. I've only sent out a couple. Um, we ran quite long today, so I really don't have any uh, giveaway today. Um, I'll make sure in the next one we do a couple giveaways. I'll find some some goodies and all my stuff. Um, until then, thank you so much and take care, everybody. Bye.